for a long time my year 12 lessons scheduled right after assembly so period one which meant about this time of year when the UCAS assembly happened my year 12 lessons would be a disaster because everyone would come in crying and really upset because it's about this time of year in that sort of assembly where year 12s get told they need to make some really big decisions over some holiday what course to apply for next year where you're going to spend the next three or four years of your life and then how to sell yourself in your personal statement and to go with this there might be an evening for parents or something or there might be a pack or a booklet that you get sent home with but this is a massively overwhelming set of decisions that you need to make. But don't worry, I can help you with all of this in lots of different ways. So the first thing is over on YouTube, I have a massive, overly long playlist where I go through lots and lots of different things from the very basics on how to decide whether you want to go to a city university or whether you want to go to campus university, whether you want to do a thin sandwich or a thick sandwich or various different things like that. It is worth spending the time looking through it, clicking the videos you want to watch and then looking at things. So go with that, there is a book you can read on Kindle and then also over my website there are loads and loads of articles to go with this. But this year, the coming years are a little bit different a little bit odd because we've had so many years of I hate to say this but overinflated grades where we have gone from 20% of people getting A's and A stars to 50% of people getting A's and A stars which is a massive jump and some people might have deferred their placement due to COVID some people might have you know wanted to reply again so there is massive competition for university places things are getting more expensive can you really afford to go to university schools are having to spend more money on heating bills and they're not getting any more money from the government so schools are becoming even more stretched so the people that you used to maybe go and ask questions to might not have time anymore now lots of independent schools lots of six oncologies will have somebody whose whole job it is to help you fill in UCAS application forms to help you write your personal statement that you can go and chat to about that decision should I do this course or should I do this course or what do you think of that or what do you think of this or can you give me any advice or insight about this university or can you give me any insight advice about this university and lots of state schools won't have that because they don't have the the money to pay the person to do that or the person who is in charge of it might be the head of sixth form and they are incredibly busy doing other things in that job. And this is the bit where I really, really want to try and help you as much as I can. Um, so as well as the playlist you can go through, the research I've done on my website, so look, I've really got into detail about lots of universities, lots of different courses, um, I'm going to be doing some live sessions over the summer as well. So we're going to start with like how to make lots of decisions. Should you pick this type of university or this type of university? Then we're going to go into how to write your personal statement. So um, what sort of things will be an immediate red flag or just put you straight into the reject pile? What sort of things should you be writing? Then we're going to be looking at a few specific cases. So like medicine applications and um, Oxbridge applications. Now, if you're in year 12, brilliant, that'll be amazing for you to join. If you're in year 11, it would also be absolutely amazing for you to join to get a head start on all of the other people who only just start thinking about this when they are in year um, 12. Because especially for medicine in Oxford, you need to start thinking about these things earlier. I'm also going to be setting up a series of kind of like um, more one-on-one -on -one things if people have very, very specific questions. So the live sessions are going to be a very small group to allow people to ask um, questions and give me time to answer them. People keep uh, emailing me, asking me how long these are going to be. The idea is that they will be about an hour and I'll be chatting, waffling on for about an hour, but I can see them going a lot longer because I'm anticipating lots of questions because this is a massively big decision that you've um, uh, that you've been told that you need to make. It's a very, very complicated area. There are so many choices that you need to 
go through um, and this is one of the areas where support for this is dwindling massively because it's one of the, the extra things that schools um, can't really afford to pay for anymore so I'm just trying to help as much as I can like jump in fill that gap where there isn't any um, support for this so links down in the description below so where you can get on the playlist, where you can find the, the book, which you can read on Kindle. Um, and if you signed up for Kindle Unlimited, you can just read it for free. Um, uh, Kindle Unlimited, like a three month free trial or whatever it is, and it's absolutely free. Or you can go and just look at all the information on my website. It'll be kind of like, you know, what grade boundaries do you need for medicine? What, how far away is this from the town centre? Really boring stuff like that. Um, but stuff that really will affect your life if you pick that place as a university. Um, and then there'll be a link to the, the small group live sessions if you want to join those as well. Um, so that's what I'm doing for you guys over some holidays. I am working incredibly hard, lots and lots of stuff coming up for you and it'd be awesome if you could join us. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.